These are the best budget accessories for the best budget phone, period. So it's time to accessorize. No, it still doesn't work. So let's check it out. I just featured this in the best cases video linked above, but the Spigen ThinFit has this magical matte touch finish, which feels soft like a baby sheep. It's simple, thin, and just an easy case to hold. And for a lot of you, that's all you really need. Cuts for all buttons so it feels like you're still using an actual iPhone with lipstick grip around the camera lens, keeping it safe from this. A full cutout along the bottom for complete access, but ever since getting the product red colorway, it's actually a nice way to still show it off. Like I said, it's a simple case that just feels really good to hold in daily usage, giving you that extra confidence without adding any bulk. However, the obvious downside to that is although offering a slight lip around the front screen, it's not meant to be a tough case whatsoever, offering scratch resistance at best. So not for those with butterfingers for days. And although it is super thin, hence its name, there's still enough space around back to store a metal plate plate for your magnetic car mounts. But if you do skip the metal mounting plates, it'll work just fine for slow charging too. Now, if you want a little more out of your case while still keeping it slim, you can throw on this Spigen Universal Kickstand. This tiny phallic shaped piece of metal has a sticky end that will essentially give any hard case a fairly sturdy stand now. Flick it open, set it down, and go to town. But I know you're wondering, how well does this cling on? And trust me, it ain't going anywhere. Spring loaded so it just pops out when you need it, but also stay shut thanks to the relative large magnet inside. So now you can enjoy your late night content hands free. Now, although that's my favorite combo, I know you all aren't as careful as I am with electronics. So here's a quick rundown for a tougher alternative. The Spigen Tough Armor, because like the name implies, it can handle your abuse physically and emotionally, which is all thanks to the neon party on the inside. It's a foam-like material that when combined with that thick lip around the screen can handle your everyday usage. The flat edges do feel great to grasp onto with your dinky fingers, and it's got its own similar soft matte finish. That just seems wrong to want to feel up this hard. Plus, this has its its own built-in stand that tucks away flat when not in use. There's two great case options for any type of Apple fanboy. Next, I hear ya. Some of you actually enjoy charging your iPhone slowly. At least with Spigen's Flex Wireless Charger, you'll be able to slow charge at its fastest rate possible, if that makes any sense. It's got this full soft rubber finish. It takes USB-C input, which outputs up to 15 watts, more than enough for iPhone's 7.5 watt limit. So just plug it in, give your iPhone SE a smackdown, and let it do its thing. Obviously, it's also compatible with any other device that supports wireless charging. Yes, even Android devices too. Now, there are plenty of wireless chargers that can do that. What makes this special? Well, it's this ice cream sandwich design that lets you flip it up and well, bam. It can also be a vertical charging stand as well. This essentially gives you a full view of your phone to use while charging. Plus, it also supports landscape charging to watch something at the same time. You can easily switch between modes by lifting and just laying it flat, which is perfect for charging other gear like, say, AirPods. For how easy it is to swap between modes, it holds its ground really well through my scientific poke test. Add to that the rubber feet to keep it from sliding around, this wireless charger ain't going anywhere. This next one is probably one of my favorite new accessories I recently discovered, the Clea Look phone mount is a two-in-one combo, which is a steal for how affordable it is while being built like a premium one. Basically, it consists of a 360 degree rotating and swivel head in the middle with a clamp on both ends of it. The flat end designed to clamp onto a surface and the other for your phone. The surface clamp is made of metal with some rubber feet, which is surprisingly sturdy for its price. And the other end is a standard spring-loaded phone mount that does the trick. Rotate, twist, and position your phone at almost any angle you can imagine, then just slap it onto your table. The table spring holds the whole setup very securely in place, while the phone, although a little bouncy, it can handle a serious shakedown as well. Plus, you can even twist it into a portrait mode for a easy tabletop angle too. Of course, the mounting possibilities are endless. You can attach it onto your armrest to have your phone always by your side, or onto some shelves to Netflix and chill while doing the dishes. No judgment here. Better yet, it makes a perfect top-down shot for some super boring dishwashing vlog footage that no one wants to watch. Then when you're done, everything folds into a compact packed little chocolate bar that fits in the palm of your hands that's actually durable enough you can trust to just throw in your bag. Now it isn't over yet. I did say it was a two-in-one and if you invert the whole thing, it also doubles as a phone stand on top of a table and not just any regular stand either. This one can pretty much adjust to any angle as well. It's essentially a phone mount for, well, anywhere. This is the cable kit from Lever, Lever, Lever Gear, and like the phone mount, it could also be the only lightning cable you ever need that retails for only $15. What? 
And in that, you get an actual lightning cable, albeit about two inches long only. That's what she said. It's a surprisingly well-built and durable cable thanks to the wide design, unlike other wimpy thin cables that always seem to tear <clears throat> Apple. And the benefit of such a short cable though, portable batteries. If you're like me and hate dealing with long wires dangling from your pockets while charging from a battery, this keeps the battery basically mounted onto the back of your phone, and you'd be surprised how liberating it is to not have a wire get caught on every doorknob you walk by. Of course, it's also just a standard lightning cable that you can use to sync with your computer to transfer files and also charge. And while chunky, it can still accommodate most case cutouts too. Now the party isn't over yet, given it's a cable kit, they also include a few other goodies, like the lightning to USB-C adapter, so you can use the same cable on any of your USB-C devices. And there's also a micro USB option for your old school devices too. Then beside that is this tiny tray that precisely fits a SIM card or a micro SD card. Amazing for when you're traveling and need to swap cards around, now you have a secure place to keep it all organized. And finally, on the note of traveling, you'll always need to have one of these, a SIM card remover. And there's one included into the backside. This is like the perfect travel companion for your iPhone. You can charge sync, backup, swap sims, you can do all this, eliminating the need to remember to pack four separate things as everything stays tucked inside this. And to make it even easier, yes, a key ring that makes complete sense. Given its tiny size, it actually fits in quite nicely and you always have your keys on you. So now you'll always have a backup cable too. Look, my recommendation for the best budget wireless earphones are, well, the wired ones that come included with the iPhone. But unfortunately, they do instantly tangle the moment you put them in your pockets. And by the time you untangle Tangle them, you're basically home. That's where this square jellyfish AirPod case comes in handy. A very lightweight piece of plastic designed to specifically store the wired AirPods and actually keep them neatly organized. With everything tucked in, nothing comes loose in my scientific shake test. Even better, when it's closed, it protects these fragile earbuds that Apple has the audacity to charge $30 to replace. This will help you avoid that. Now, when you need them, nothing is tangled, easily unwind, and wha bam. Of course, that isn't enough to be included on this list. So yes, it's not over. You can invert the case itself where you'll see some soft rubber feet on the bottom, which you guessed it, doubles as a phone stand too. So you can plug your earbuds in and watch The Office again for like the fifth time. But every time, it's just as funny. For a simple plastic shell, it actually holds its ground. It does take an extra step to wind the cable round and round this thing, but it's well worth it to avoid raging in the future. Plus, even when you don't need your earpods, it still works as a stand. Win-win. Look, as much as I love cases, sometimes I just want to feel the real deal. Unfortunately, fingerprints and micro scratches are first world problems that we have to deal with. That's why I recommend a skin, specifically D-brand skins. They add no bulk to the phone, prevents the aforementioned greasy chicken nugget fingers and honestly just makes your phone look way more badass. I've got a collection of their black design so you can go full MKBHD colorway with your new SE. This one specifically is the matrix design and hot damn when installed properly it aligns perfectly. So satisfying. They use 3M vinyl which essentially means it's the good stuff and no matter how many times you slide this in and out of your pockets it will not peel. The matte finish means it's way better to hold. No more slippery glass finish and having to wipe down your phone every five minutes, but if you're really paranoid though, slap on a slim clear case like Spigen's Ultra Hybrid in the red finish to keep things matching. So now you still get to show off your unique hipster personality and still get to be a total klutz with your phone. Look, the benefit of dbrand skins is you're not limited to the black, red, or white iPhones from Apple. Now you can literally switch between a dozen other colors and designs. For all the mobile FPS gamers, the Fly Digi Stinger is easily my favorite trigger for any smartphone. It's got an ergonomic design, adjustable clamp for any size phone, Phone and rubber padding all over to avoid scratching your phone. Installation is simple, hook on one side and clamp the other in, then you're ready to go. The curved triggers on this allow my hands to be in a comfortable rested position, and that's it. You've basically got a third thumb now, which is pretty important if you've ever played PUBG or COD Mobile. Of course, they do have the option for a fourth thumb too, with the opposite side also curved accordingly. You can double fist this and have a competitive advantage in a game that doesn't mean anything in the long run but will still make you rage like tomorrow doesn't exist. Exist. A single charge lasts so long, you'll forget these even have batteries in them, and the grooves on the clamp means you won't have any accidental button clicks on the iPhone itself. It really shows that they thought through everything when designing these, with one important aspect being the surprisingly durable build, which means you can just toss these in your bag and always be ready to 
calling some noobs. This mount is different. Something you didn't think you needed. The 10-1 design mount TA features dual locking clips with a variety of different pad sizes to accommodate different devices that are grippy enough to trust, which is pretty important for what it does because it's designed to be clipped onto your laptop screen on one end and your phone on the other. So it being super grippy is kind of important given your iPhone is now free floating. If you're the type to never put your phone down, well, this gives you a solution to continue staying productive. It's great for video calls too, if you're your laptop camera sucks and it is held in place securely enough to be used while mounted too but that's not how i use it if you own an ipad this takes multitasking to the next level by mounting the two together you're essentially given the ability to run an additional app possibly an iphone app that can't be utilized properly on an ipad or you know just to watch dave lee do his thing while you work away the iphone se is small and lightweight enough that you don't need to worry about it slip and sliding around too much even during usage but it's not permanent so maybe avoid holding it upside down. Honestly, the use cases can get pretty creative. Like if you wanted a Samsung flip, well, how about an iPhone flip? Or if you want the best of both Android and iOS at once, well, now you can. Plus, it's also not only for electronics. I've also clipped it onto my notebook when working, and you can use it productively for note taking or just watching a show while you work. It's labeled as a laptop mount, but this allows you to mount your iPhone in ways you never thought you needed to. Look, if you're tired of stand accessories, too bad, because this is literally only a stand. The key prop is a key but with a fake lightning plug on the end of it it's made of all rubber and for five dollars the price of a fancy starbucks coffee you'd be surprised how durable it is it's also got a fake 3.5 millimeter plug but that's because this was designed way back when look it's simple it's a key that acts as a stand so stick it in and that's it, it's not going anywhere. You are limited to one angle, but it does hold in place fairly well for its size. Plus you can even get away with fitting on some slim cases too. This just looks like a silly toy, but you really have to feel it to believe me when I say it can handle some abuse. But here's why it really made the list though, as it's the exact size of a real key. You can pop it onto your keychain and it's like having another key on you, but instead you'll always have a way to prop up your iPhone now. If anything, for five bucks, you're upgrading your keychain to be a little more useful. Now, if you did have some extra cash and picked up the OG Apple AirPods, you can keep that safe too on a budget with the Spigen Tough Armor for AirPods. With these thick booties on the corner, you won't have to worry about scratching or damaging your AirPods when you go ham on the table with it. It's also got a soft matte finish, which is great for the fingers, and the case does stay securely in place during usage thanks to the thick silicone that hugs onto your AirPods like a clingy boyfriend. No tape or glue required. Now, if you're like me and lose your AirPods every other morning before leaving the house, they also include a fairly fancy metallic carabiner, which now means you can clip these onto your bag or pants so you always know where they are. Better yet, you can pair it with their iPhone case and go dual tough armor. A wicked combo if you drop any and everything you touch but also it just gives off some Iron Man vibes too. I'm always on the lookout for new accessories to play with so let me know what your favorite accessories are in the comments down below but that's it. I rest my accessories. If you made it this far, you deserve this wonderful extra. These are the prism glasses, which basically allow you to see 90 degrees. Why? Well, because neck pain when you're lying down and using your phone. Now, by staring upwards, you can literally see downwards. So although you may look stupid and completely waste your money on this, well, that's it. That's the conclusion.